Welcome YouTube, Glenn Anderson here, natural strongman. So today I just want to talk about how to uh, lift and carry a keg. So I did a strongman competition, it was an intermediate one, did that in October. Come on honey, come on. And uh, the events were, uh, the last event was a loading medley. You had to carry a 100 kilo sandbag, a 120 kilo keg, and then a 150 duck walk. Now keg hasn't really been one of my strong points carrying kegs, um, but um, I've refined my technique. I've practiced it for a long, long time, and it's got better and better over time, and I'm now actually quite confident with keg. Um, a few weeks ago, I actually carried a 130 kilo keg, uh, which you can um, find the video to that on this channel. Right, so basically, um, with the keg, now, the way that I used to lift it, which I thought was the better way, was I would get the keg like that, and then I would go squat down like that, which is really hard, grab it like that, hold it like that, and then run with it like that. But there's problems to doing that. First problem, of course, is where you're lapping it and then lifting it onto your chest. All that's doing is just making it take longer. In a competition, you've got to get that keg from A to B as quickly as you can. Uh, so you don't want to be messing around, getting like that, squatting low, lapping it, and then getting both arms around it and then having to carry it. It just takes too much time. And it's really slowed me down in competitions before and in practice when I've had to do it. And the other reason as well is I find, especially when it's a really heavy keg, where you're holding it like that and going along, it's just sitting on your chest and it's hard to breathe. You can shave a lot of time off and it's so much easier if you just do it this way, which uh, is the way that I do it now. And I found it so much better and it's just easier and less strain on your body. So I, and this is what I did in the competition as well and it really helped. And I've done this in practice. Like I said, I've lifted 130 keg now. So uh, basically, literally like that. I'm right-handed. Uh, some of you might want to carry it like that, but the principle's the same. So I literally just like that, under like that. I'll hold it quite high here so that you're clearing the legs. You don't want the, the keg down too low because when you try and walk, you're just gonna be banging into your legs. So I'm literally like that, like that, and then go. Brilliant, perfect. I say, like, when you're carrying it, you don't want it too low, you just, I, I have it like that, I try and have it on my stomach, but I try and have it um, so that it's high enough so that I can walk or run if I have to and it's not going to be banging into my legs. You literally want to tip that keg to the side like that, grab it on the underside, raise it into position. Obviously, as, when it's very heavy, that's going to be difficult, but you want to try and clear your legs as much as possible. But like I say, that's just, I find it easier. It's quicker, you don't have to fumble around getting it in the right position. So uh, that's my take on how to carry a keg. And last I've found that it's a much better way, it's a lot quicker and it's a lot easier. So I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to like and let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll be back soon with some more videos.